Excellent. Welcome, everybody, to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show. Again, I still need to come off with what we should call this series, but uh, this time we're again here with Caitlin. Caitlin was actually in a show a while back uh, as well uh, on a different feature, but now we're talking about something really, really cool again on SharePoint pages. So, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin can you do a quick intro? Uh, what is the feature and what do we call it and what does it actually enable us to do? Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Caitlin. I am a product manager on the SharePoint Pages team. And today I'm excited to talk about and introduce the content pane, which serves as a convenient hub for various panes that are utilized during the authoring process. And with the introduction of the content pane, we're also introducing a new toolbox that enables authors to easily explore and in turn con insert content onto the page itself. And then lastly, with that, I'm going to discuss a section UI redesign that we're including as part of this feature release. Cool. That's a lot of stuff. So first of all, let's let's quickly recap. What does the content pane actually provide us? What, what's the added value? Is it replacing something? Is it the additional thing? What's the for the end user? What's the added value? Yeah, for the end user, we really want to allow users to easily switch and navigate between various panes, such as, you know, uh, properties panes for web parts and sections. And then we're also introducing new panes. So like I mentioned, I'm going to talk about the toolbox that we're introducing. And then in the future, there's going to be some other panes, such as design ideas. And so overall, we're hoping that these new tools will allow users to author their pages more efficiently, more quickly, yep. and more easily. So. Before we go to the demo, I need to kind of a tease out and or ask that, does it then mean that it's contextually aware? So based on what I'm actually doing and editing and modifying, the pain is modifying what is being shown. Uh, so yeah. making it easier for end users to understand what's available. Yeah, for sure. I'll definitely demo it, but the content pane is aware of where you are on the page. And so things within the content pane will update based on what is selected on the canvas itself. Cool. Cool. And that's why it's actually then simplifies to editing. That now it makes more sense. I, we were just having a discussion with how we started recording. What's the value and and how do we use that? But looking forward on seeing this in practice. So let's jump on the demo and and see how it looks like and how it actually behaves uh, based on the different use and uh, use it scenarios. Sounds good. Excellent, excellent. So here we are, a modern SharePoint page. Um, and we're already in editing mode. So the tool, toolbox comes automatically there. Um, and feel free to continue showing and explaining. I know that you, you've thought this through already. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, when you enter edit mode, you will now see the content pane, which shows up as a new pivot navigation on the right-hand side. Um, and so you'll see three different panes and pivots are available here right now. I have the toolbox, I have the properties and design ideas. And in order to open or close each of these panes, you can simply click on the pivots and you'll notice that they open and close accordingly. Um, so first I wanna talk about the toolbox, which is a brand new pane that we're introducing with the introduction of the content pane. So on the toolbox, you'll see web parts, stock images, and also section templates. And the cool thing about this is that you can drag and drop web parts from the toolbox onto the canvas itself. So let's say I wanted to add a people web part to the canvas. I can now click and drag it onto the canvas wherever I want. And you'll see when I drop it, the people web part shows up there. Uh, similarly, though, if you don't see any of the web parts that you want here on the toolbox, you can click see all web parts. And when you do so, all of the web parts that you have access to will show up on uh, this pane as well. And so if I wanted to add, let's say, the quick links, I can simply click it. And when that happens, the quick links get gets added to the canvas as well. Um, so that's how you can add web parts to the canvas very easily with the content pane and the toolbox specifically. Now moving on to stock images, um, this is really cool. And so what I wanted to show is, let's say I search a term, you can see in the text here, I'm talking about Rome. So if I were to search Rome, and give it a couple minutes to load. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you'll see that pictures and images of Rome come up. So I can click and drag the images onto the canvas. And if I want to see more images, I can click see more media. And now let's search another term. Let's search planning. And you'll see after those load, I have access to all of these stock images right here. And when I click one of them, 
that gets added onto the canvas. Um, aside from stock images, you'll also notice that there is a pivot that says recent here on media. And when I click that, you will see some of your recent media items. So all of these images are recent and specific to me as a, as a user. And then lastly, if you've looked through stock, you've looked through recent, you don't find exactly what you're looking for. We've added this browse images button at the bottom here. And so when you click that, you'll see the file picker and you can use this to easily upload any image or uh, media item that you might want. So that's how media works. And lastly, I'll talk about section templates. So um, here on the toolbox, you will notice two section templates. And um, when you click them, they get added to the canvas. And then if you wanna see all of the section templates that we currently have available, you can click see all section templates and those are listed here. So that is all about the toolbox. Um, and so moving on, I did want to talk about the properties pane as well. So properties pane, essentially what we're doing is we're adding a new entry point for the same web part and section properties that we're used to on the canvas. And so um, what you can do is when you have an item selected, such as a web part or a section, when you click the properties pivot, you will notice the web part or section properties for whatever is selected on the canvas. So right now I have this image selected, you, so you will see the image web part properties. Uh, similarly, if I click the section instead, you'll notice that the properties pane updates to show the section properties, and then I can update the section accordingly. Um, so you can access the web part section properties through this pivot, this new entry point, or you can access them how you used to access them with the toolbar. So um, if you go and click on a web part and then click edit properties in the toolbar like you're used to, uh, you'll notice that the properties show up. So let me show that again by clicking on the toolbox instead. If you click the web part edit properties button, it'll then switch over to the properties pane. So that's how you utilize the properties pane within the content pane. And then lastly, uh, there's design ideas. And so I'm not going to talk a lot about design ideas. Um, there's another teammate of mine, Sarah, who's going to give an in more in-depth video on it. Uh, but basically what design ideas do is they give you ideas for how to redesign your section based on the content that's already there. So it's a very exciting, very exciting feature um, that we're looking forward to releasing as well. Yeah, this so, is pretty cool. So it's it's basically just to clarify again. So you can access the same features capabilities from the old way, but yep. this is just a new way of accessing the, the capabilities faster. That's kind yes. of what I meant to is that exactly. So we're giving you new ways to access the same capabilities faster, such as the web parts, um, stock images, section templates, um, and then the properties pane as well. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Pretty yep. cool. And Yep. And with the introduction of the content pane, one thing that I did also want to talk about is the redesign of section UI. So if you're familiar with the authoring process and experience, you are used to seeing the section tools on the left hand side of the canvas. But now we've taken these from the left side and put them onto the canvas instead. So in order to add a section now, what you'll do is you'll click the plus button that's on the border of sections. And when you do that, you'll see all the section options where you can then add a section. Um, and similarly, all of the tools such as moving a web part, editing or moving a section, editing a section, duplicating or deleting a section now all exist within the section toolbar that we've added here. Yeah. Yeah. That which is consistent with the web part way of approaching things as well. So those sections, yep. yeah. So that's that's basically the the menu selection is consistent uh, across the board. It makes perfect sense. Yep. Cool. This is really really awesome. Now it makes more sense for me as well because we just before we started recording, uh, I had a short talk about this feature. But it it definitely provides value, and I love the fact that you can easily access the stock images directly, for example, in there. So rather than you know adding a adding an image web part and then opening yeah. up the selection and there's multiple clicks which we can reduce by this new design, it makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. Cool. Cool, cool. Now uh, let's get back on the on the talking head mode. So, uh, what about future? Any any uh, new investments in this area? Will we support additional capabilities? Or this, this, is this now kind of the new design model as we start introducing new capabilities? It will be added on the same content pane model. Is that yeah. The way of so 
Yeah, so any new panes that we have within the canvas or in the authoring process, we want to have an entry point in the content pane. So right now, um, you'll notice that there are some panes that don't live in the content pane, such as page details, translations. And so in the future, after the initial release, we hope to add these to the content pane. Um, and then in terms of our partner products, so via the Amplify, they will have additional panes within their content pane as well that support authoring there. Makes perfect sense, and and it's the same capability which is getting adapted in Vivo Amplify as well. Which now it's now we have a consistency across the products um, um, and and for end users, regardless where you're creating the page, is it in Vivo Amplify or in SharePoint, it will work in the same way. So. Yeah. Cool. I guess that sums up uh, our uh, quick demo feature tour this time. So thank you to Caitlin uh, on, on uh, joining on the recording once again. And thank you for sharing uh, the awesome capabilities which are coming out. And I, I know that there's much, much, much more coming out as well. It's just amazing to see all of the, the awesome innovations which are right now rolling out in SharePoint. So, And we're getting so much good feedback from the users as well, So, which is great. So awesome job, whole team. Thanks. Thank you.